Hello gamers, and welcome to my Season 11 Ezreal Guide. At the start of preseason, Ezreal was thought to be in a poor spot, but now that we've had some time to get used to the new items, it's become clear that Ezreal is actually quite strong right now. So here's how you build and play Ezreal in Season 11. For runes, you'll be taking Conqueror due to its great synergy with Ezreal. Each ability hit onto an enemy champion grants you two stacks, meaning Ezreal's spell spamming playstyle stacks it up quickly so long as you're able to land your skill shots. Next you can grab either Presence of Mind or Triumph since Presence of Mind is no longer essential on Mana Moon users. Then you'll want Bloodline. From the final row you can never go wrong with Coup de Gras, but especially now in this tank heavy meta, you should make sure to consider taking Cutdown. Even while building Divine Sunder, you can still pull out some huge numbers out of Cutdown against certain comps, making it an invaluable choice situationally. You can also consider running Lost Stand if you have something like a Yumi or a Soraka who can keep you alive a low HP for sustained periods, since Lost Stand thrives when you're staying alive without a full HP bar. For the next tree, new to Season 11, you'll want to go into Domination to pick up Ravenous Hunter, since the switch to Omnivamp makes it an incredibly effective rune on all auto attack based DPS champions, turning it into a superior version of Bloodline. Grab Taste of Blood alongside it to give yourself an easier time in lane. For stats, pick up the Attack Speed Shard, Adaptive Force, and usually you'll want Armor, but make sure to run Magic Resist if you find yourself facing a Mage on bot lane. For Summoners, you'll of course want Flash, then your secondary options are mainly between Heal and Exhaust. Heal is the safest choice, but Exhaust is the better option for aggressive players to have greater room to force favorable fights, by cutting down the enemy's damage output, hurting their ability to escape, and making them less able to dodge your skill shots. You may also want to consider running Cleanse against champions like Ash or Varus. But as Ezreal, you'll have an easier time dodging their CC compared to more immobile ADCs. For starting items, you have the choice of either Tear of the Goddess or Doran's Blade. Doran's Blade works best if you play aggressively, while Tear of the Goddess gives you faster scaling at the expense of less early game power, so the optimal choice here can depend on both playstyle as well as matchup, so you'll have to experiment and see what works best for you. On early backs, you should aim for Tear of the Goddess if you didn't start it so you can begin stacking it, then Sheen to make your Mystic Shots pack a bigger punch whether as poke or DPS. Your Sheen will eventually build into Divine Sunderer over Trinity Force since it does similar damage while making you much tankier. For your first item, you can build either Mana Moon or Divine Sunderer. Consider Mana Moon if you just want straight damage, or Divine Sunderer if you want to be tankier, depending on what your matchup would more benefit from. Next build whichever item you didn't build. For third item, you'll usually want to Ravenous Hydra, which has become a very strong item on Ezreal offering great wave clear, sustain, ability haste, and damage. Afterwards, you'll typically want Cyrilda's Grudge, though you can also consider building it before Ravenous Hydra if the enemy team has high amounts of armor. Your situational items are Guardian Angel or Death Stance for general survivability and damage, Kempunk Chainsword for anti-heal, Moldmail Mortius for magic resist, Silver Mirror Dawn if you need QSS, and Zunny's Hourglass to dodge crucial abilities. There's also a burst you build that's popped up involving Dustblade of Drakthar, which you may want to consider running against squishier comps. With this build you'll want to take Dark Harvest instead of Conqueror and either Precision Secondary or Sorcery with Mana Flow Band and Transcendence. You'll start with a standard Sheen and Tear Rush, then build Mana Moon into Dustblade, followed by upgrading your Sheen into Essence Reaver. With this build you will deal a little less extended damage due to the loss of Conqueror, but will be far more of a threat towards squishy targets and with plenty of one-shot potential. Ezreal has a very safe kit, but the worst thing you can do is pick Ezreal just to play safe. His kit being so safe leaves him with a lot of room for aggression, and the champion is balanced around that fact. If you're not playing Ezreal aggressively, then you're going to find him extremely weak and low impact. This goes for both in and out of lane. The key to succeeding in lane as Ezreal is keeping your passive up at all times. Ezreal's passive provides up to 50% attack speed which is a massive amount, and it only runs out when you stop hitting abilities. As long as you don't already have control of the lane, you should be making sure you're constantly refreshing your passive before it runs out by casting Mystic Shot on minions. You should only go for Mystic Shot poke on champions if you're already in full control of the lane or if it'll hit a minion even if you miss the champion. Otherwise, you should use Essence Flux for trading while you use Mystic Shot and your high attack speed to outpush the enemy and gain a minion advantage. Naturally, this playstyle will consume a lot of mana, but you only need to keep it up until you've already zoned the enemies off the wave. After this, you can afford to let your passive drop as you start playing for poke while the enemies have little minion cover to protect them. The important thing is to time your backs properly and make sure you're never overstaying on low mana, at which point you're basically useless. This is easier than ever in Season 11, since all your components are so cheap now that you can always back for relevant items whenever you find a good moment to back. Outside of laning phase, your objective is to deal as much damage as you can without dying, whether in team fights or outside of them. This means pushing the limit of how much you can get away with, and often using your E aggressively for damage and repositioning rather than holding onto it for safety. Obviously that's not always possible, but it'll take you pushing yourself to learn to tread that fine line between overaggression and optimal play. That's the end of my Season 11 Ezreal Guide. I didn't want to go too in depth, but I hope you guys found it helpful and have a better grasp of how to build and play Ezreal in Season 11. 
Drop a like if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe for more guides and Halo ADC content, and check out my links in the description to find me on other platforms. Until next time gamers.